With local school districts looking to reopen this fall, parents are faced with a tough decision of whether or not to send their children back to school. And I just haven't felt confident in the school system's ability to have a plan. Cindy is a mother of two with a son going into the eighth grade this year. Before the pandemic, he went to a private school. But with the rise of coronavirus cases, Cindy feels safer teaching him at home. Also, when he came home from school um, during the COVID outbreak and he did the home learning, he was really good at just maintaining on his own. I, I was really proud that I didn't have to sit and hover over him and and get him to do his work. Planning to homeschool for the first time, Cindy turned to social media to join a Facebook group filled with other families who homeschool their children. Mom and former educator Heather Polk started the Tampa Bay Homeschool Families Facebook group back in 2008. But I had started communicating with other homeschool families through emails because people would ask me, well, how did you start homeschooling? What did you do? How do you do it? And I found myself sending out the same information so during those years, I actually communicated through both avenues. From sharing curriculums to meetups, the group has grown to more than several thousand members eager to share and learn from one another. I started talking to other homeschooler moms and hearing how they did it. And I was just getting more and more confident that this is where I needed to be with him. Homeschooling is not to be confused with distance learning that many families are doing now because of the pandemic. Now, when people start to homeschool, they literally want to take the experience that a child has at school and bring it home. And they're trying to mimic everything that a child experiences at school and feel like they have to make sure they're doing all that. And that's usually where we see the most failure. Heather and other members in the group remind families to make learning fun, especially ones who are transitioning from traditional learning. You have to think about education differently. Ultimately, you want to raise a human that can go into society and think well, reason well, and be a contributor. 